and no film has ever spoken about how many miscarriages can a woman's body handle or how many abortions and true and medically it's only two but more than two out of five women undergo more miscarriages and abortions because they're not even aware and the kind of trauma that your woman's body goes through at that time physically mentally emotionally it's never spoken about i have a friend who's had two miscarriages before her second delivery in between her two kids and she she told me she, when she saw the trailer she messaged me saying you know this is this could potentially be an award winning film because you don't know how many women go through this absolutely every friend of mine has had one miscarriage and it's whoever's, alarming in today's whoever's married health, we don't see stars taking a back seat and letting the woman go ahead yeah that sometimes. doesn't happen that doesn't happen it's the sad reality but uh, but i don't know who to blame for that i really hope for a day that you know actors male actors also sort of can come in and support a good subject because it's not going to take too much of their time and trust me in the audiences i feel they will only have more respect for them what is woman centric i don't understand the leading character the story is of a girl and it does become tough to cast you know i'm telling you i mean there is this other film that i've completed we had a tough time casting i think it's so beautiful that we finally come together as an indian film industry because we are one country and i think we should coexist and appreciate people from different industries and and you know our beauty is our diversity Well last year when she actually did a film with Aishman Khurana everybody called her the new age Aishman Khurana the female Aishman Khurana and today when she's talking about a film and discussing a topic that is often considered taboo not because it's taboo but we've made it taboo we have Rakul Preet Singh joining me for a conversation only on Bollywood bubble a hello always on time Yeah, five and minutes before learned. time. Now you've learned. This is one interview. You were on time, ah? Huh? No, yeah. not even one minute delay. Oh, I'm so happy. I was like, <laughs> bal bal bache type. I was like, <laughs> you know, I was so I was at the doctors before this, and it was getting delayed. And she knew that I am a talk show host. So I said, ma'am. This is one actor who doesn't delay, who comes before time. I have to reach. <laughs> I swear, I said this to her. I'm like, yeah, आज होगा तो करो. I love, मेरा cough. I love, you know, even in my friends, there's this cough. That If is I true. If I say 7:30 p.m. means they'll come at 7:30. Ah, that also I've seen. You've seen that. <laughs> yeah. But Rakul, you know, very interesting film, very interesting choice. Uh, eventually, life is all about making the right choices, right? Um, in the last, especially in the last two years, the kind of choices that you've been making in terms of your profession, in terms of your films, whether here or uh, down south, have been very varied from each other. I know that you like veering towards different roles. Chhatri Wali is in a very different space altogether. Yeah. The first thing I told you when I got to know that you're doing this film is that a lot of male actors or female actors wouldn't have been comfortable taking up a story like this because unfortunately it's our conditioning that makes it taboo right what made you take it up uh you know when i read the script i think the beauty of the script was that never through the film does it come across as something which is cringy or not aesthetic or something which can't be viewed by a family because i've always said any film i do i should be able to first watch it with my parents only then i can expect the audiences to watch absolutely. it absolutely right and uh, i think that was the beauty and what was the most uh, uh, the part that really touched me in the script was that uh, we're talking about safe sex and highlighting the ill effects on women uh largely and that's what happens right yeah. and no film has ever spoken about how many miscarriages can a woman's body handle or how many abortions and true and medically it's only two but more than two out of five women undergo more miscarriages and abortions because they're not even aware true they Absolutely. they don't know that it's not okay for your body to handle that you know uh, because of multiple abortions the unplanned pregnancy then when they do that then when they want to plan they have miscarriages uh, and it's a very alarming number now. absolutely very alarming number and the kind of trauma that your woman's body goes through at that time physically mentally emotionally it's never spoken about because i don't know if it's i mean it's only because it's only women that deal with it but it's never been a conversation absolutely so to me that was such a important thing and i thought you know in an entertaining way if you can say something that can impact people's way of thinking um it's uh, a double win 
Um, and so and that's true. what I loved about the film and uh, the women's health part of it, uh, which really made me want to say yes. Rakul, you know, I want to tell you this, that there are so many women who go through this on a daily basis, yeah. you know, who we meet. Yeah. Again, uh, it's their story to share. But there are so many people uh, that I have met, um, especially like very recently, you know, uh, my house help came to my sister, me, I and my sister, my sister and I stay together. And she told uh, her that, you know, I have an unplanned pregnancy. What do I do? Should I take a medicine? And she was going to pop a medicine without knowing the effects of it yeah. because she didn't want to go to a doctor and speak about it like yeah. this was this is the and, and, and this is the people logo lagta hoga ki ye sach nahi hum log bana bana ke bol rahe yeah. but ye this i was waiting to talk to you about all this because there are so many instances like this yeah. because that is a film like this allows you to speak up and open Absolutely, up about this Absolutely, and that's the reality nayan like i showed uh, because you spoke about house help i have two instances to share here one that there was a girl in my high school uh, you know at that time because you're not nobody talks about these things openly you True. have a lot of delusions in your head uh, so uh, and we all at some point thought that kissing se shayad pregnant ho jate hain you know ek, and ek she, point pe to definitely yes and i spoke about this in the trailer launch and you know just newly 16 and first relationship she popped six seven pills the contraceptive washout pills uh, i wouldn't name the brand uh, right after every time she ended up kissing her guy and uh, she had to be taken for a surgery because there was extreme whatever damage that was done to her system so i'm saying the lack of awareness about the important issues which are actually the truth of human existence True. can lead to life altering situations so why do we shy away from these conversations um the second that i shared this trailer with my house help and i showed her and then i and she's like acha and then i asked her aapko samajh aaya ye kis bare mein so uh, she said ha didi bahut zaruri hai ye ye na bahut acha hai ye uh hen ha hen na koi baat nahi karta like the way the way it, i could i could read her expression and how she could and not just her i have a friend who has had two miscarriages before her second delivery in between her two kids and she she told me she, when she saw the trailer she messaged me saying you know this is this could potentially be an award winning film because you don't know how many women go through this absolutely every friend of mine has had one miscarriage and it's whoever's, alarming in today's whoever's married health. health scenario it's very alarming yeah very very alarming and i'm saying this is educated people my college friends who are married three of them are married um uh and uh, and so many people i know like at least five six girls that i know i can tell you have had either abortion or miscarriage uh out of they don't even know why right um uh, at some point they've had an abortion because they were not ready and then that leads to a miscarriage like i said Absolutely. when you plan um but we need to speak about health as normally as we speak about physical health mental health emotional health sexual health because this Absolutely. is all the truth of how we are um i feel that that and today when my niece is growing up i see a huge change yeah. because my sister as a mother is again very different she comes from a generation which is like almost you and i and they are taught there is a class which teaches them bad touch good touch is yeah my and mother my mother also i think at the right age she i think i was only in my second standard uh, that she spoke to me about good touch bad touch because you know you had a lot of help at home True. Uh, and and the army you have a lot of forgy bhaiyas and this and that so you uh, you're, you're always subjected to way more people uh, beyond your school um so my mom taught me that you know you're never going to go alone with somebody what is a good touch what is a bad touch even i think when i was in my fourth standard is when she told me about periods uh, so i think it's so important to have see what we're saying is we are not influencing people in the wrong way there's always information available on the internet so if you don't give it in the right way they can sort of they'll anyways get that information out of curiosity and today social But media is so huge everybody knows everything internet yeah there's every kind of information Absolutely. so it's better for the parent to give the right information as opposed to the kid out of curiosity understanding something else out of everything that's available and making mistakes like there's an amazing dialogue in the film ki agar seekhenge to galti aur galat dono se bachenge absolutely you're you know? right and i think that's the motto whether teachers or uh, parents they should follow baat to karo is the point right because 
लोग बात ही नहीं करते इस बारे में लाइक आई फील दैट वॉट इज सो रॉन्ग अबाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट इट आई रिमेंबर दिस आई टेल यू अनदर इंसिडेंट सो वी ऑलवेज हैड फीमेल टीचर्स इन स्कूल टीचिंग आज बायोलॉजी मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम आई वॉज इन अ कोविड स्कूल एंड then suddenly there was this teacher who came who was a very nice teacher he was uh, sir was amazing so he was a male teacher and he came in the ninth standard when they were uh, teaching us reproductive system when he was teaching he was teaching like a teacher would regardless of whether he was a man or a woman but i saw people giggling and laughing and you know it happened at a break like one teacher left and the other one came right so when the female teacher was there they were giggling in a different way now when the male teacher came it was a different kind like it shifted yeah, yeah. like the girls started giggling more then and then the yeah, boys were giggling you. in the beginning this is a you also show this yeah. in the first scene that is the teacher is very uncomfortable yeah. have you had such incidents in life uh you know when we also were in ninth standard when you have the reproductive organs ka introduction right. um and our teacher was a female uh, teacher but i remember everyone was giggling and i was one of them um and shy and wanted to bunk the class and now when you look back i sort of wonder why uh when it is a part of the curriculum when it is a part of the educational system it's given so much importance i think somewhere as a society we are failing to yes. um deliver it in a right way uh and that's because of our mindset i think anything is um perceived to be wrong or a taboo if your mind is taking it in a wrong way if you if you'll call a heart a heart you'll call uterus uterus yeah you are not going to say acha udhar kuch hota hai fir udhar bachcha matlab aata hai ya bhagwan matlab you are going to give the right names in their organs yeah. so if you are thinking something else then it's wrong and i think a lot of it you know it goes hand in hand the environment at home uh, sets up your social conditioning you know or the people that you are around and then the environment or in school also sort of influences that um and both school and home should ha- should make it so normal that it's normal women are not allowed to talk to men you know so yeah. there's this secrecy uh and hence that lust or whatever drive in them it sort of goes hey why so the more they are normal and the more it is coexistence that emotion will never come up in your mind so i think with everything if you educate the right thing at the right age it will lead from it will avoid people from heading towards disasters true i want to ask you this because you've been a strong voice and face uh, when it comes to um female uh, characters in movies you know you've never like see there are films which are commercial but there are also impactful roles that you've played uh you played a pilot you played a gynecologist you've played uh, a teacher again and now you're playing a teacher and a condom tester i want to know that i will come to what you want to play more <laughs> apart from this but what one thing that i want to know is that you know rakul you've always settled for a good role in a big film like when there has been a big film led by a male actor here down south you've had you've you've taken that part up let sometimes even let the uh, man drive the show when a female actor wants to drive the show a lot of these actresses whether it's vidya balan whether it's tabu ma'am a lot of these actresses who have actually driven uh, films on their shoulder they have always spoken about the lack of male representation in terms of a list heroes the stars in these films women are way more secure to take up roles do you feel that somewhere we don't see stars taking a back seat and letting the woman go ahead yeah sometimes. that doesn't happen that doesn't happen it's the sad reality but uh, but i don't know who to blame for that you know i'm also sort of thinking about it or or figuring it in my head i think a lot of it is also um, what possibly the male actors the stories they're given the people around them the stories that those people give that your positioning your stardom your market your yeah. too many things right but that's not the case for women i mean you could do uh, uh say i mean let's take an example like a karina karina ma'am will do something which is uh, opposite a star also yeah. and do it with equal finesse as she will do a chameli also at that time yeah. you know i'm saying even then and even now um uh, and i think 
I don't know if that stems from security or that stems from the way that it's been, but I feel that very slowly uh, where we are heading, content is going to be the first uh, priority. priority. Yeah. And um, I really hope for a day that, you know, actors, male actors also sort of can come in and support a good subject because it's not going to take too much of their time. And trust me, in the audiences, I feel they will only have more respect for them, uh, for speaking on a good subject and lending their support and making the reach happen because let's face the truth i mean they have a larger reach than the women actors do you know when it comes to driving a film yeah. um so i think they will only earn more respect and love uh, from the masses from the families if they lend their voice i mean their uh, support to an important subject um and though there are some actors who do it uh, but very rare I want to I want to say this because I don't want it to come across wrong from your and my side. The actors who are actually doing these films where the female is leading, they are terrific actors. Yeah. They're, we are not taking that away from you are, them. You're talking about stars and actors. Yeah. So my, my, my point is that, you know, there was a dear Zindagi where Shah Rukh Khan came in and let Alia Bhatt do what she did. Yes. There was a secret superstar when Amir Khan da, uh, comes and takes a backseat and lets Zaira Wasim do what she does. Yeah. Similarly, there's a uh, mission mangal where Akshay Kumar is... There's a Between scene where so five, of, five women are going aage and he's piche. Yeah, or even in Atrangi Re, you Absolutely. know, where Sara was doing what she had to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. So I feel this comes from security again. You know, or even for that matter, De De Pyar De. Yeah. It was a film about two women where Ajay sir was like, in the scene, let me just sit back and let these two Absolutely. fight. Absolutely. You know, so he was playing the guy who was calmer and was the women who were taking charge. But the bigger stars are still taking that risk, you know. They are letting the women take the walk. Are you understanding? Yeah. But this generation, the younger generation of actors, it's a constant debate because I met Arjun also, your co-star. I think he believes in this story. Yeah. Arjun is someone who believes. I was he, just going to say... Because he's done a Kian Ka again. Correct. My point is, Arjun is also somebody who believes in multi-starters. So even now with Kutte, he believes. Yeah. He's like, everyone has a role. Uh, or even for the film that we are doing, it's again two women yeah. uh, who, are, who have really strong roles. Um, you know, so I think it's it steps from some sort of security. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Do you somewhere feel that today, if you look at the kind of films that are being made, women are taking rapid strides? I'll be very honest. Like when I talk to my mother about this generation of actors, she can her generation can name more women female actors than male actors. It's a yeah, fact. Yeah. From this generation, it's the women who are leading. But despite that. Women are the ones who are ready to do multiple heroine films, ensemble films. Very few male actors are actually doing it. I spoke to Arjun also about this just two, three days ago. Yeah. Do you do you do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's anyways very very tough to cast a multi-star or a male multi-star of film uh, and and. Again, I mean, I'm just loud thinking here with you and that's how I, I also possibly figure that it comes from a sense of security. And it's also not their fault. You know, let them not take me wrong. It's also what they've been told Said. around. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 it's all a part of the system that's around you. And the perceptions that are being and created the in their head. the perception that's being created. Because I'll tell you, as an actor, you're also listening to your team, your manager, your PR. Your, your, you have like a bunch of people around you who are telling you what what your next step should be so sometimes it's natural human tendency to get insecure because all of us want to be you know in the front in a runners space. in yeah. a certain space so it's not wrong to think like that but i think the people around need to sort of uh, get a jar and say <laughs> ki, ki bhai, ye nahi hoti. you know because some of the biggest actors like even amit ji and all the roles that they do um, today and even still a being goodbye. even a goodbye unchai unchai goodbye um, and, and how you said Akshay sir or Ajay sir or Arjun. thank God thank God you know uh, it was Sid's film and yeah. it and, and Ajay sir did this special absolutely. part absolutely there'll always be something if you believe in the part think of it as a film not about a f not as a female led film absolutely it should be a film it is a film. What is woman-centric, I don't understand. The leading character, the story is of a girl. And it does become tough to cast. You know, I'm telling you. I mean, there's this other film that I've completed. We had a tough time casting. Did a lot of male actors say no? I don't know about that. 
but they don't want to read a script also if it's go not got too much for them to do which is fair but then the system of feeding needs to change it's not their fault i don't believe in distinction of any kind for the longest time there has been a partition between hindi films marathi films bengali films south films everything you know today there has been a huge change there has been a digital renaissance which has which has maneuvered this movement where every we have become one industry suddenly yeah. today when there is a uh, you know i know that we won uh, golden globes at yeah. um, uh, with uh, RRR. rrr i knew that people would have celebrated it even back then because then when it happens on a global platform we suddenly become like an India. indian film with slum dog millionaire it's an indian film yeah. indian film but we still don't give it we still didn't give it so much respect the regional film industries today they have proved their metal and there is a lot of respect does it make you happier because you have no, juggled I, I, different I, I, industries no i i i i'd like to differ i don't think we didn't give respect we were not i think people here were not even subjected to the kind of content that was there so you will only extend any sort of emotion if you really know what's going on there uh i think what the internet or the lockdown uh, or exposure to content from all over has done is that it has brought the regional cinema to everyone's homes yeah um it's as simple as saying there's some korean film now they could be making great films but i don't have an opinion on it cuz i don't know what they're making right till one film wins an award or or and then, or, then it's it. news and then you watch it and then you you know write about it so it's that Uh, it's very easy to have a narrative saying you know we didn't respect no i think the people who knew about it always respected it which is why we've had the stars like shri devi ma'am or tabu ma'am who've made their journeys um in both the industries jay prada jay prada very very strong journeys uh, people have always respected the kind of work rajni sir has done or kamal hasan's oh. done or uh, kamal sir's done so so i feel um it's a great time it makes me very happy that now even the ones who were not aware uh, or new lesser are aware and appreciate the kind of films that are being made um because when i was working there uh, in the beginning i would come and see we spend on songs and this so they didn't know ki aise kaise char char panch panch din gaane pe karte hai ya you know how lavish so now they know they've seen it visually so so obviously the respect comes in you know and i think it's happening for every industry not just south today marathi cinema is growing absolutely i mean Look the success of wade oh my god it's wade it's insane um and again people from the south are appreciating marathi cinema also so i think it's so beautiful that we finally come together as an indian film industry because we are one country and i think we should coexist and appreciate people from different industries and and you know our beauty is our diversity Absolutely. so imagine so if we true. really come together and bring the best of every world we can make international cinema we can give them a run for their money also yeah i mean that should not be the intention though no but we can the intention that is eventual if you make a film with the right intention Absolutely. look at rrr look at it was made with the right intention i don't think when they made it they were aiming at global group. absolutely they were not uh, you know they were not aiming oscar nomination uh, and i i know how rajmouli sir operates oh. he is absolute um uh, you know a passionate guy who's just chasing his vision. vision that's about it and which is what you've seen in case of baubali or in rrr magadira magadira all his films all Iga, his films. uh but the scale of mahubali and and rrr is yeah. because he still made film to make his film not to make it an international success that's a by product because when you do this rightly that will happen also one thing that i want to ask you is that you know you've been raised you you've been an army kid so you've been raised very differently uh you have a different pedigree from other actors who <laughs> who belong to the industry or the fraternity i want to ask you that there are so many times that we've seen people like suck up to uh, influential people to get into certain camps we never see that happening with you is it something that you're too lazy about is it something that you just don't want to do or just don't care about uh, how would you put it yeah i'm thinking <laughs> because i'll tell you i after this ca- uh, camera goes off i'll tell you that we have actually had a discussion where people were actually one person one of your co stars is actually said something wonderful about you that about the fact that you don't have a you don't come, walk in with an air here yeah, because i'm doing my work 
why should I be arrogant about something that God's been kind to me to give me that I've always wanted all my life? Like I don't understand the sense. You want to be an actor, you've worked your way up, you've hoped that the universe gives you opportunities, people love you. When that's happening, I should be more grounded. Yeah. I should say thank you, thank you, thank you, don't take it away from me. I should be more <laughs> grounded as opposed to being like, oh. I'm throwing my I'm weight throwing around. my weight. Because then you won't know when that goes. And then only thing that's going to stay with you is the relationships you've made, the people who truly believe in you. So I'm really a, a believer of like uh, 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 relationship, personal contact, like, touch, you know, like being real with people. Um, and uh, about camps, I don't know. I, I actually never paid attention to it. It's not that I don't care or I don't believe or I never had the time to think i'm thinking about it right now as you say i never really thought as i thought uh, about it when yeah i never thought uh, as for me i'm busy every day i'm working every day i go to set i come back and then i have my own camp that i i, I like to like Spa. <laughs> yeah my own camp that i like to be with uh, or my people you know um and i've never really given it any thought and i don't think i don't think that's what drives uh, ultimate success. Uh, I'm not trying to put down anything or any camp or anybody here. I'm just saying that uh, I never thought about it. Also, kudos to you for backing a film like Chhatriwali because I hope today we have reached a point where actors, male and female, can come to terms with the films that they're doing and they can actually come out and openly speak about what they're uh, you know what they're showing on screen and what they're actually propagating not just doing it on screen so thank you for doing this thank you hi guys this is Rakul and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble please like share and subscribe